Hey everyone, Sean here with Pew Pew Tactical. Today we're doing something a little bit different. The folks over at Safe Life Defense sent out their new Hyperline vest. Now, I have a little bit of experience in wearing vests. Out of a 22 and a half year career, I spent 15 of those in uniform service and law enforcement, and I wore vests for 15 years. They were hot, they were heavy, they were uncomfortable. We're hoping to see if uh, Hyperline does a little bit better. This thing is pretty interesting. It is very lightweight and the thickness is 0.19 inches. So I'm gonna wear this one. We're gonna test it out and see how comfortable it is in the Texas heat, but we are going to shoot this one a whole lot. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so like I mentioned, I used to wear these things and I can tell you, every day you get them you put them on and you feel like you were basically being smothered and when you get out into the heat it just would make you sweat and was really uncomfortable but this one is super lightweight and i'm interested to see how it's gonna wear so i'll be wearing this one while we shoot the other one and uh, i'll make my observations and share my feelings with you as we go along Okay, so I'm having flashbacks over here. I gotta admit, this thing's pretty comfortable. It's still gonna be warm, I can tell, but I'm really impressed with how thin and how light it is. That's a big difference, a uh, big takeaway that I have. It's still 3A rated, and we're gonna absolutely test that out today. We are using Spear Gold Dot, G2s, these are 147 grain, at nine millimeter. We're gonna be shooting it from the Staccato P. We've got the exact same setup that I'm wearing on this clear ballistics uh, gelatin dummy. We wanna thank those guys for sending this over for us for testing. Uh, I'm going to hit center mass here with about 20 rounds and just see how that goes. But before we do that, I wanna show you that just on the side here, you can see there's already one round down in the uh, gelatin and uh, that's from a previous test so we have not begun shooting yet but just want to omit that one and then uh, let's light it up and see what happens before we do uh this is not the nij this is the ppt baby and we're gonna just shoot it and see what happens hopefully you guys will enjoy the presentation all right everyone we've got 20 rounds here and this is not practice ammo we are being very serious in our test here we're gonna load it up and see what happens. All right, that's full 20. Let's see what happened. So we can tell that it's obviously getting through the carrier, but we're gonna have to peel it open. To see if we have any kind of penetration. It does not look like there was any penetration. Got through. And there's a little bit of delamination, but it's holding together really well. And I am not seeing any penetration through to the ballistic dummy. I'm gonna check on the side here. Looks like we have the one round. Doesn't look like we had any. So, Here's what we came up with, guys. It looks like we have zero penetration. The stuff that we had there previously was still there, but nothing new. So we're gonna crack open the uh, actual carrier itself and see what happened inside. Okay, so you can see I spread my love around a little bit on the front side there. And you can tell right here, nothing got through coming from this side. 
So we have no penetration. And here's the strike face, here's the front. And we don't necessarily care about this one because it's a test copy, but you can see right there, there's several rounds are all locked up in there. And um, for something this incredibly thin, uh, it's very impressive. When I first started wearing vests, uh, it felt like medieval armor and it wasn't much better. Uh, look at that. Look at how thin that is. And to provide level 3A protection uh, from 20 rounds of pretty serious defensive ammo, uh, that's impressive. And here's a round. Take a look at that. Mushroomed perfectly, but stopped completely. Okay, so the interesting thing that we noticed when we were going through and pulling the rounds out of here was uh, this is a laminate, right? Like most vests are, but you can tell just where the stoppage occurs. There's a round right there. This first kind of white layer. I mean, we didn't even have any get past this first white layer here. And like I said, these are serious defensive rounds. This is not practice ammo. Uh, yeah, so nothing even made it past the first white layer. I'm really impressed with just how thin this is and yet uh, what a good job it did. That's, that's 20 rounds right there all wadded up. Really impressive. I want to talk to you about the new Pew Pew Tactical Workout Regimen. Seriously, one of the things that Hyperline is touted for is being so thin that you can wear it under a t-shirt. I'm going to say yes and no. Uh, I'm currently wearing mine under my t-shirt, but it's a little bit bulky. Not too bad. Uh, you could tell, especially like if I turn, you can see it in the back and it adds a little more bulk to my chest. But I got to admit, it's surprisingly so thin that you can pretty comfortably wear it under your t-shirt. You just might not fool everyone. Somebody will probably notice it, but then again, most people probably wouldn't. Hey everyone, once again, this has been the Hyperline Vest from Safe Life Defense. If you want additional details, head over to pewpewtactical.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.